I completely forgot about the inboxing at the beginning. Um, so yeah, that, that's the two exhaust mufflers that I purchased for the bike. So they're two uh, stubby little mufflers for the bike. Um, they're chrome. Um, they're pretty slim line. They look pretty good on the bike. It matches with the bits of chrome on the bike. Um, there is a bit of an issue with them. Um, they've got a bit of play or, or slop. So the bore on, the, on, on them is a little bit larger than the actual stock exhaust system so I've had to create a bit of an insert just to take that play out um, in fact we'll get into that now we'll go straight into that <laughs> seen what I've been doing for the last five minutes because I forgot to turn the camera on yeah I'm still getting used to this anyhow what I've been doing is filing the edge I don't know if you can see this I've been filing the the edge of this nut down so it's going to fit inside the exhaust tube so I'm about to weld it into place so it will just have a better surface to seal to welding but it will do the job.
Okay, so this is the completed exhaust muffler. Um, as you can see, it's just really minimalistic. There's there's no clamp there, and it is rigid. I also need to look at how I'm going to put this bracket on. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use this yet. Um, so originally I was planning to bolt it to the back of this prototype kind of rear set that I've got planned. Um, but I just think this bracket looks too big and bulky. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a thinner one. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, but also, another thing I, I thought I could do is the centre stand brackets. Now, I haven't cut them off the frame. I've left them there because possibly in the future, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I may want to service the bike or something so I can just fit it and, and play around with it. Um, I could do something with those brackets, maybe a clamp under here um, on the exhaust section and just tie it to that bracket somehow. It'll just keep it nice and tidy um, and hidden away. Um, as I said earlier, I don't like brackets and I don't like, yeah, I just think it looks nasty. So the wraps on the exhaust system, I'm going to apologise because I don't have any footage for that. Um, I did these wraps way before I started doing doing these videos, so yeah, I do apologise. Uh, but I'm going to lead you through the process of how it was done, and um, there's there's plenty of other videos online that will show you how how the wrapping process is. But I'm just going to lead you through how how I did it on this on this build. So because the YP sections are now welded to the two header sections, I've got one one system to play with. Um, took it out to the shed, put the system in the vise and then I dropped the titanium wraps in a bucket of water. Um, there's, there's plenty of stuff online telling you to wrap these dry, wrap these wet but in, in my opinion wrap them wet you get a, you get a tighter wrap. Um, so yeah I, I'd go with that and it also keeps like the fibres down as well because you know they're, they're horrendous, they're itchy, they're horrible stops you breathing it in. So yeah, I'd, I'd go with that every time. Um, so yeah, the first first section of the exhaust I did was to wrap uh, the YP section. Uh, I kept that taut with some copper wire. Um, when that was done, I went on to wrap in the, the headers. So wrap them tight and once it was all in place or, and I was satisfied with that, I went back and zip tied them with the cable ties. So that's how, that's how I did the system on the bike. So that's the completed exhaust system on the GS. Um, it looks great, I'm really chuffed with it. I'm really chuffed with the wrapping and the mufflers and just been what I've, what I've been able to do with the stock system. Um, it's got that vintage cafe racer kind of look, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. So um, next week we're gonna be looking at the wiring on the bike, so what I've done with the loom, um, yeah, there's, there's lots going on with that. Uh, we'll also look at these bits, yeah, um, they need to tidy up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a new system for it. But yeah, join me next week. We'll have a look in that. If you're enjoying this build series, please have a look at my other videos. Um, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, I'll see you next time. Welcome to the Suzuki. Welcome to the Welcome to the Suzuki GS750 build. Calf racer build. Calf racer build. Welcome to my Suzuki GS calf Suzuki GS750 calf racer build. Let's slow it down. This week we... <laughs>